everybody, welcome back to the Plant ID mini-series. Similar to last week, we have a guest naturalist from our community who's going to give us a close look at another native plant. Hi, I'm Brittany with the Plant Ally, and today I'm going to share all about yarrow, Achelia mellifolium. Uh, it's a native plant to our Wenatchee Valley. Um, so this is yarrow right here. Um, you can see that it's almost starting to flower. In early spring, we identify yarrow. You can see a younger plant right here, just by the leaves. It has these light feathery leaves. Um, and I can tell it's yarrow by pinching one off and putting it in between my fingers. And it's very aromatic. It has a really strong smell. Um, but it's very pleasant, it's florally. Um, so that's how I can tell it's yarrow in the early spring is by the leaves. Um, young plants will only have the leaves for at least the first year. And then as they mature, they'll start to flower. Um, so we can see here that uh, we have a yarrow that's beginning to flower. Uh, the flower is a white flower. Our, our local yarrow is a white flower. Um, and it, it's branched into having many different white blooms. So it will come up and then its stem will form a V and then each of those stems will form separate Vs that have little bunches of white flowers. Um, this plant can often be uh, confused with hemlock, poisonous hemlock, and uh, Queen's Anne's Lace. So like I said, I just always kind of squeeze this in between my fingers and look at the blooms if I'm trying to properly identify it. Um, there's other varieties of yarrow too. This is our common yarrow. This is our native yarrow. There's also yarrow that's pastel colors, pinks and blues and purples. Uh, that's commonly called Parker's variety. And then there's a Colorado yellow, which is an ornamental. Both of those are cultivated. Um, yeah, and so you might see those around too. But this one right here is our native yarrow. Um, if you're wanting to harvest it, um, you would work down all the way to the stem uh, and cut it off. Yarrow can be harvested both for medicinal use and ornamental flower use if you want to dry it in a bouquet. Um, for medicinal use, uh, I would just lead with, with caution, making sure you've properly identified the plant and knowing what it what to use it for and how to use it. Um, there are some uh, different interactions that it has with certain medications, so always checking beforehand. Um, and with harvesting, always ethically harvesting. So when we say ethically harvesting, that means taking one out of every 10. Um, and also kind of act, acting like an herbivore. So a little bit here, a little bit over there, but never all one big lump or bunch together. Um, so yeah, that's our friend Yarrow. Thanks Brittany for that great close look at the beautiful Yarrow. We hope to see you out plant identifying and we'll see you for the next episode.